Maryland was everywhere in a win against Nebraska at the Xfinity Center, forcing 18 turnovers, finding 25 points off the bench, and dominating the glass. The Terps looked like a completely new team offensively, taking down the Cornhuskers 73-51. to Nebraska opened this one on a 12-2 scoring run, connecting from behind the arc, and it seemed like the Huskers were going to run away with the game. But Maryland found a spark in an unfamiliar place this season, the bench. Jahari Long and Jamie Kaiser Jr. checked into the game and immediately made an impact. So I think it's all starting to come together. I'm just finding ways to be aggressive and uh, make plays. So The two combined for 25 points off the bench, 21 of those coming from three-point range. But I want to do everything I can to help the team win, whether that be, you know, grabbing rebounds, extra possessions, offensive rebounds, getting steals, just picking the energy up for my team. With the offense rolling, Maryland entered the break up 44-27. to the second half was more of the same offensively, but it was the Terps' defense that sealed the win. We're the number one defensive team in the Big Ten, and it's not even close right now. The Terps forced 18 Nebraska turnovers and turned those into easy buckets. <laughs> Maryland out-rebounded the Huskers 43-25, to led by Juju Reese, who grabbed 16 boards. In nearly all aspects of the game, the Terps were on point, leading to the 73-51 to 51 blowout against Nebraska. I've been saying all along, this team's going to get better and better as the season goes on. You know, what, what we saw in November wasn't even close to what we're going to, and I still think that we're going to get better. The Terps are off for the week, but we'll head to East Lansing for a matchup with Michigan State next Saturday. For Terrapin Sports Central from the Xfinity Center, I'm Ricky Podgorski.